Hey there, it is Matt White with Converted Carts and welcome to Golf Cart TV. Uh, today we've got a little something special, something different than what we've been doing in the past. Uh, I have actually been working on a build myself uh, with my employee who also happens to be my son. And I thought I would start uh, sharing the process. We're gonna go through kind of the details today. Um, I recorded a separate video, so it's gonna be like I'm interviewing myself here, but uh, I am gonna play this video and it's gonna walk through and then I'll come back at the end and close out. But I thought I'd share this and uh, see what you guys think. Here she is. So we've got a 2018 Easy Go TXT straight off the country club. It's a 48 volt electric. I'm gonna put a lift, five inch drop axle lift for Mad Jacks. We're gonna put in some new seats. We're gonna put in a new steering wheel. We're gonna add a new dash. We're going to add a new floor mat, uh, the body, actually, I'm going to put on a storm body kit. So the whole body is going to be different. It's not going to be this golf course green. It's going to be a storm body kit black. I'm going to remove all the back hardware here for the golf bag stuff and add a rear flip seat from GTW Mach 3 lift or a rear seat flip seat uh we got some big tires you can see there in the background i'll show those but 23 inch tires and 15 inch rims and we'll put on a again getting rid of all this old junk uh, i'm going to put on a new um bimini bimini top sail top that'll extend over 84 inches it'll extend over the back seat there um Again, new seats. Uh, we'll put make everything street legal. So the body kit will have uh, lights and everything like that that you need, but then we'll also put in a rear view mirror, side mirrors, and all the stuff that needs to be done for street legal. Um, the cart itself, like I said, is 2018. I've got new Trojan batteries. In there all new that I just got added whenever I bought the cart and so the cart itself just to be transparent with everything cart itself was four thousand five hundred bucks um, and the batteries were twelve hundred so currently fifty seven hundred dollars in and then this is the mute I've got some 15 inch GTW Spider wheels with GTW 23 inch Nomad all terrain tires. We've got all the lift kit, we've got the rear seat, we've got the mirrors, I've got the brackets, I've got the seats, I got the grab bar on the back, I've got all the things, and more is coming. So excited to get started. So after day one, here she is. Look at that. You look at the pictures from before, you can see that that is quite a bit larger. It's five inches up as far as the lift kit goes, but then I put these big giant 23 inch Nomad tires with 15 inch GTW Spider rims. I love red as my favorite color, so we're going with red as a theme, and you'll see that through some of the other stuff, but <clears throat> add the uh, Mad Jack's five inch drop axle lift. So as I was putting this on, and for those of you who care for the little details, um, it was quite a task. Uh, I've sold these things for a long time, but never actually done them myself. And so one of the things that, that we had trouble with mostly was taking a an older cart that's been from the golf course that obviously has been 
driven just about every day for the last five years. And so every screw and every bolt and every everything was uh, dirty. So one piece that I have to replace because I this would not come out of the old, and I don't know the names of these things, I'm steering pinion something. <laughs> um, but I had to hammer this bolt, the end of this bolt to be able to get it out from the old um, axle. So I think I screwed up the the threads and so I couldn't get the other um, the bolt back on and so I'm gonna have to replace this um, this part and again I don't know the name of it I'm not the technical one I sell this stuff but I don't do it so I'm kind of learning and sharing this with you guys so this is kind of new for me as well um, but everything else was fine. It took some time, it took some grease, it took some all kinds of stuff to loosen some stuff up. I'm going to show you one other thing that was trouble. But um, so you can see what happens here is just this axle just drops. Uh, we got a big five inch. And again, those rims I just love. I think they turn out good. I'll do a nice big cleaning whenever I'm all done um, and make it nice and shiny. But as you look, you can see it popped up. So that's on the front for the. So with the rear, we actually put in. Uh, there's a block. So this is just like a riser almost. So this just goes in to lift up uh, or drop the axle, I guess, down and pushes everything else up from behind. So if you can see, there's an in, there's an installation video that I watched from Magex and it helped tremendously in instructions, obviously, but I'll put a link just to share that for those who are interested. Um, but this was also a pain. Uh, as you can see back in here, um, this little guy right here is a brake line and the brake line was coming in and it was getting in, in the way of putting in the new leaf springs because we put in new leaf springs because we're adding the rear seat. So let's see if I can get you from here. Um, yeah, so this guy comes in there and goes back in. And so that was in the way. And so what I found was uh, because of my, my, I know people um, and it worked out really well. Found out you can get in right here. The brake line is under here. And it actually fits in this little uh, slot. And so I just remove that to be able to pull it and loosen it out. And then I'll put that back. Pardon me. I'll put that back um, once I need that. Or once I'm done with everything. But I think the wheels look awesome. It is so crazy how um, much taller it is. Kind of, I'll do a little flashback to a to uh, one of the old pictures, but um, I mean, not only is it the five inch lift, but then you've also got so this is the old tire. So if you look at that old tire relative to the new tire, let's see if I can back up a little bit. So. That's what we're talking about. So not only did it lift, lift it up five inches, but then that's probably a good, boy, I don't even know. Those are 23 inch, so maybe those are 18, seven inches more. So the lift off the floor, you can see is pretty large. I'm gonna put Magic side steps on there. So that'll be something to add, but I think that's good. So day one took a lot longer than we expected but it's close. I have a couple of things I've got to finish, like that little piece I mentioned here to, to replace. Um, but it's coming along and should be getting movement on here more. I'll be sharing more later. Thanks, guys. So that was uh, my review, both before and after day one. Um, I've got more coming. We've already done some work uh, that is not quite 
uh, ready yet to share, but I will be sharing that again um, once we make progress on that. So hope you guys enjoyed that. I will be sharing the whole process uh, of going through everything and I think it's gonna be fun to watch and be a part of that process. So thanks for joining today. Appreciate you.